Hey guys, how's it going today? Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Today we are going to get into a couple different things, but first we are going to watch this time lapse that I did of all the different things that I was doing offline to help improve the base. Alrighty, so today what we are going to work on is we are going to grab some chemical plants. We're going to grab a bunch of them. And we are going to be working on enriching uh, rare metals, making rare metals, and then we are going to be building out a build for processing units. So, um, as you saw in the time lapse, I definitely helped, uh, well, I didn't fix the iron problem, but I definitely helped the iron problem, and it looks like we're maybe having some issues with iron. So actually, I'm gonna go fix these quick issues with iron um, so that our plates are still uh, going quickly. So let's go do that really quickly on a time lapse. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, there we go. That that should definitely help uh, with our iron production here. And we're still doing okay on power, not amazing. Um, so we also, um, I also increased our chlorine and hydrogen production, which I hope um, I need to actually add a tank here, which I hope uh, will have helped with our uh, hydrogen chloride production because we are going to need that n mass in order to um, purify our rare metals and let's see if I can actually do a little bit of a ah, we'll just do this tank that's fine all right so if we put this tank down I guess we'll put it down like right here it seems like a good spot and of course I'm out of pipe again 
Okay, so it, it appears that it did indeed help with our output because as you can see we are now producing hydrogen chloride in all of these machines. So the goal is now um, we are going to do basically the exact same thing that we've been doing with our copper and our iron enriching. So we're going to fly all the way up over here and we are going to put down our um, a little array here for this is going to be rare metals enriching and let's move this i also had disconnected all the rare metals mining but let's see yeesh okay we're going to keep that disconnected for the moment it's not needed at the moment um i think that we have what, what is going on here oh i'm hitting the wrong button that's why okay um, so I think that we probably have enough rare metals over here. It looks like we have a decent amount in all of our storage um, containers. So uh, I don't think that we need to mine any more at the moment. Uh, so this, of course, is definitely, it's still going to be water. Um, so let's change the recipe on this to, there it is. We're going to change the recipe on all these, and we still need more pipes, so we're just going to handcraft a bunch right now. Um, we're going to have to go pick up some more materials here momentarily, but you can see here that it is still for just regular water, and then that hydrogen chloride that we're making and our raw rare metals. So a lot of the output, um, well, so the output for the dirty water can still go to the exact same place. That doesn't matter. Um, you may think that it, like, there's this, um, where is it? There's this uh, filter dirty water down to raw rare metals, but we can just do it down to copper still. It doesn't matter what material you're processing uh, into the dirty water. Uh, you could do copper into dirty water into iron if you wanted. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to still process this um, over here in these filtration plants, and we might have to add a third filtration plant. Uh, we can connect up our water. All right, so that's our input and one of our outputs dealt with. And then we can place this uh, underground. So we've dealt with um, the output of the raw rare metals, which we still will have to smelt after this. Um, so now we just need to get hydrogen chloride up here and we need to finish our build. So let's go grab some materials real quick. We can. Just zip on over there in our jetpack, which is freaking awesome. Alrighty, let's see. We need a couple things, and it's so nice to have these iron belts full again. Um, I'm also increasing our big electric motor production, and in fact, I almost want to make it the full box because we will need all of them eventually, so we're just going to do that. Okay, we're going to grab fast inserters. We are going to grab regular inserters. We are going to grab pipes, and we are going to grab what else? What else do we need? We need poles, and we can get rid of these. Let's also grab, while we're at it, uh, we can get rid of all this track for the moment, I think. Um, it's unnecessary, so let's grab a storage chest. Pop it down over here. We'll work on automating a couple other things in the near future that we're gonna need. Uh, some new buildings are that are going to require some automation. Uh, so let's store this concrete here, get it out of our inventory. Okay, what else do we need? That might be it? Question mark? Uh, undergrounds and belts. Just kidding, we need those. So let's grab belts, let's grab undergrounds. There we go. We're good on splitters. Let's grab half a box of um, underground pipes, and I think that will be good then. Our iron input, as you can see, is full again, which is awesome to see. Um, so let's run up over here again. I also increased our wood production because we were using way too much wood. All right, so have our bots finish constructing everything. There we go, bing, bang, boom. And then we need to deal with hydrogen chloride so where the heck are we gonna bring this up at is it gonna be like right are we gonna be able to fit it no 
We cannot fit it through here. But we can fit it through, like, right here. Let's see. Heck yeah. We can fit it through, like, this little gap there. And then we can, like, bring it sideways just a little bit and finish bringing it up. So we're going to bring it down here. We're going to start down here. And then we'll figure it out as we get up towards the top. So where's our hydrogen core? There it is. So we're going to come over one and then go up. Okay, that is the hydrogen chloride up here. Nice. Now let's grab our rare metals and I'm going to grab, I have a balancer book somewhere and this is from Bilka, I don't know. I just found it online and I've used these for like forever. So we want this book and we want to do like a three to one balancer right now. This is a three to one balancer. Boom. Um, if you guys would like, I can put that in the description below um, so that you can use it if you want as well. Um, there are a lot of awesome balancers anywhere from uh, one to eight balancers. So you have anywhere from like eight to one. I don't know. It goes through almost every single combination of one to eight you can think of. Okay. So there's our rare metals connected. As you can see, they're going to come in and they're going to start working. And by the way, just a preamble, I love the color that this makes, um, when it starts working. These, it's just really pretty. Check it out. Look at that cool turquoise color. It's pretty awesome, in my opinion. So we're getting our uh, enriched rare metals over there, which is sweet. And also you can see that we finished our space science pack research. So we now have researched, we did a couple researches through that uh, time lapse at the beginning. So we have um, a delivery cannon now, then we have our space assembling machine. We have space logistics. Um, we also have space fluid handling, which is space pipes. We have our advanced lab. And then we did our space science pack, which again, can only be built in space. So you can see it's made in a space assembling machine or a space manufacturing. So in order to start making this, we are going to need to get to space. And that is a, most of our research that we can do uh, for the time being, I think. Um, cause I think that most of these are now going to start taking space science packs to complete, which means that like we can do exoskeleton and I guess we can research these just because, and this, and this, but that's it. Besides that, we need to get more biter data. Yeah, we should do this one soon because it gives us um, a better wood making recipe. So we should go get some biter uh, biomatter um, because we've been out of that for forever basically and we're gonna need to fight some biters here soon. But what that means though is that we only have a few more things that we need to do before we absolutely need to go to space. We're gonna to need to go to space soon, one way or the other. Um, because, you know, we're gonna be wanting to do more research. And so we're gonna be needing to uh, get up there, start building these. So, and there goes yet another research. Um, so, but before we do that, we are going to need to build some buildings. So for instance, we're going to need to build these space assembly machines, which is why we need those processing units and all of those big electric motors. So we need to build those. And then we also need to build um, some space transport belts. Uh, oh, can you only make these in space? You can only make them in space. Interesting. That did not used to be the case. Um, so we will have to not build those before we go. So I guess we just need to make space assembling machines um, and we're going to need to build, get some life support. And what else? 
Actually, it seems like that's about all we can do is make space assembly machines because basically everything else is made in space, it seems like. So these are made in space now. Um, what else is made in space? Uh, we'll have to figure it out, but it seems like a lot of stuff is going to need to be made in our orbit base. So we'll have to get going there soon. So that means that the goal right now is to make our processing units as we stated at the beginning. But before we do that, we have been discovering a bunch of moons and stuff like that. So I want to go over the moon, um, the universe explorer, how to use it, and then kind of how to decide based on the criteria that you need um, where you're going to go. So if we look here, we've discovered a bunch of planets and moons and awesome things. Um, you can see here primary resource. So you can see the primary resources on each of the planets. So on Novice, our primary resource is this, which basically just means everything. This is like a, a core chunk of everything. Um, there's Granis, which is uh, Vulcanite. There's oil, uranium, cryonite, vitamolinge, uh, stone, more vulcanite, more vulcanite. Uh, this is barrel. This is more cryonite. This is iridite. Um, and of course, each of these places have different things. You know, so like this place here, Granis, um, has a lot of uh, robot attrition, which means that robots, bad idea for this planet. They're going to die very quickly. There are no biters, though. And you get 111% um, extra, like you get 111% of power from solar panels here. Um, you'll notice that like a uh, novice, you get 100%, so just normal. But in orbit, you get 466%. So you get like four and a half times as much energy from one solar panel um, in orbit, which is which makes sense and is super awesome at the same time. Um, but you'll also notice that there's some different things here. So like Delta V uh, from Novice, that's going to be how much, um, it's going to basically help determine how much fuel you need to get to this planet. Um, hazards, waterless. So there's no water which means that you're going to have to do solar power, pretty much. Or you're going to have to ship in water, which would be very expensive. Threat, again, 0%, no biters. Uh, very long day-night cycle. So on Novice here, 6.94 minutes is the day-night cycle. Here, it's four times as long. Um, robot interference, so again, like I said, uh, very difficult to have biters here. So those are the kinds of uh, metrics that you're going to look at when you decide where you're going to go. And you can just see we discovered Lamia. So what we're going to do is we can give different priority to different planets. So obviously Novice and Novice Orbit, we're going to give some decent priority to so that they stay at the top. And then any planet that we don't really want to go to, we're going to uh, give negative uh, priority. And planets that we may go to, we'll give one priority. That's just kind of how I do it. You can do it however you want. That's how I do it. Um, so biters here, 33%. And this can mean a couple different things. This means that they're probably not that bad. They're on, just like on novice. But places like this one that have 3%, you can see hazards, biter meteors. So the planet won't start with biters on it, but once you're there, you better stop those meteors from coming in. Otherwise, there are gonna be biters that end up on the planet. So that's kind of uh, crazy. Um, but let's look at like the different things that are on these planets. Like here, this one has got uh, Vitamolinge, which we're gonna need, Immersite, which we're gonna need, Vulcanite, which we are gonna need, Mineral Water, we're fine with, you know, all these other things we're fine with. But these three, th these four, th or three things, I guess, here, uh, we may want. So let's take a look at the surface real fast and see what it looks like. And then we can say, hey, this is a, definitely a place we want to go, or maybe not really a place we want to go. So if we go to the map view here, uh, let's see, we got some Vitamolinge here. Not too, the patches aren't too big. And, oops, uh, let's go back, sorry. So if you explore here a little bit, you can see right up here, we've got some Immersite caves. Uh, so these are all kind of pretty close to that center area. And if we can find some Vulcanite here, this might be a super awesome place to come because we need Vulcanite um, in the relatively near future. 
we need Immersite in the semi near future, probably a little bit further out. Um, we're going to need Vitamolinge, which this looks like a pretty big patch here. Yeah, 7 million. So that, I mean, this might, this place might be pretty good. Plus, I don't, were there any biters here? I don't think so. Oh, it's just the biter meteors here. So, you know, we'd be able to stop that, hopefully. Um, and as you can see, again, there are no biters here. Ah, and here's some Vulcanite, which is what we were looking for. So that's 800,000. I was hoping to see a little bit more. Here's some more. And a million, and it looks like if you keep going north, there's plenty. So this looks like an awesome candidate uh, for a planet that we might go to. So we're definitely going to take a look at that. And we're not going to go through all these, but I just wanted to go over that so you guys can get a, a decent idea of what I'm looking for. And I'll go through and prioritize the rest of these um, at some other time, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. And then of course you can sort by priority, so you can see the ones that you um, really like. So that's that. Uh, let's get back to making, um, what were you making? Processing units, that's right. All right, so we've got our uh, rare metals after they've been enriched. Now we need to um, smelt them. So we're just gonna grab this. Doesn't need to be huge right now. We're not needing to make, you know, um, an incredible amount of, and we'll go right about, actually we'll just go right here. We're not needing to make an incredible amount of rare metals, just a little bit. And I did, we are gonna change these out for uh, steel smelters, because I did automate steel smelters. Um, because I was sick of um, just building them by hand. So let's grab these bots, let's go grab some steel smelters then. And here we go. We got 50 of them. Yeah, we'll keep it at 50. That's fine. 50 is a lot. We're not going to use more than that uh, for the time being anyways. So let's do this. Let's upgrade all these. Same with these. And then we can change our recipe to be rare metals. There we go. And then we just need to pull that belt down. So we're gonna come through over here. And let's try and keep the belts like pretty close to one another, just so that um, there's room for other things if we wanna add them. Look at that, we discovered a new planet. Very cool. Okay, there we go, all hooked up. So that will start making rare metals um, ingots, or whatever you want to call them, uh, as soon as we hook in the um, fuel here. There we go, now it will. And then we are gonna pull these down. We're gonna find um, an open belt, belt, belt for uh, the rare metals in our bus which is what I was trying to say. And I think it can, well, there's, there's four here. So maybe skip to, this is where we're gonna go right here. There we go. All right, so we're just gonna jump this stone belt here and we are gonna keep it pretty short because we wanna keep our belts as close together as possible for the most part right now. And let's see. And when I say we're trying to keep them close together, um, the reason for that is that um, we want to make sure that we can fit other belts in as well and not use too many undergrounds in the process. All right, so let's build this belt out. Our bots are gonna help us with that, I guess. And we'll just turn them off for the, for the time being. We don't need them. Okay, and now we need them. All right, so let's see. We're gonna, um, we are gonna put it like right next to this um, facility.
very satisfying. And the nice thing about this is that it'll pick up trees that are in our path. Nice. Okay. That was kind of cool. Uh, we're almost out of belt once again. That's fine. Um, we'll put down uh, at least our buildings. So if we look at this, we need um, uh, sulfuric acid. So something I like to do when I need sulfuric acid is face them towards each other and then go like this. And this is kind of like the setup. <clears throat> and then, um, let's see, these take 12 seconds. Okay, so we just need regular inserters. So we'll do regular inserters here and that'll just go from one belt. That's gonna be a split between um, advanced pro or advanced circuits and rare metals. And then we'll throw that here. And then we'll throw uh, this on the other side. We'll make one drop on the near side. And we'll make it go the other direction. And then we're just gonna copy this a couple times. I don't know. We'll do, we'll do four. Seems reasonable. And then we're gonna go grab some belt. So I'll be right back with some more materials. All right, and as you can see, we have here the rare metal belt and it is like almost completely full. So we're doing awesome on rare metals. Um, and it's cool, they, they don't all look exactly the same, which is pretty nice. I really like the sprites for those. So let's see, if we pull this down, um, we're gonna do something like this. So it's gonna have um, an input there and there. So we can pull this down here. And our other belt is gonna be coming down right here. And it's gonna be for these advanced circuits here. So this will be really easy. So let's just split that off. And then let's uh, do some undergrounds here real quick. And then we can have this and that. There we go. And then we can let our bots finish building this little area here. All right, and then the last thing that we need to do is connect up our sulfuric acid. And thankfully, we have right over here, sulfuric acid. So what we're gonna do is just, we're just gonna underground right here. It looks very weird, but it will give us the ability to do that. And there we go. And then if we connect these, we should start making some advanced or sorry, some processing units. Maybe we do need fast inserters, let's see. Can it reinsert enough? Oh, surely it can. Oh yeah, just kidding, 12 seconds is a long time. Okay, and again, we did this where half of these are gonna be inserting onto the near side of the belt. So we're already gonna have um, a, a nicely formatted belt, and we're gonna make the belt go right above this one. So it's gonna come like right here. Um, and we're gonna end up having to run this down because most of the things that we're gonna need processing units for at the moment is not science, which we will need it for science, um, but we're also gonna need it for, uh, like I said before, building these space assembling machines. So we're gonna have it go on belt. And I think that what we're gonna do also is make another, um, what are these, uh, low density structure uh, we're gonna do another of these builds because uh, like everything in space needs low density structures. This needs low density structures. This needs low density structures. Um, our belts all need low density structures. We need low density structures for uh, these uh, cargo rocket sections. And I was thinking that we're actually gonna put the cargo rocket, uh, the first cargo rocket silo right down here because it'll be a nice um, in between of having all of the science belts already right here. Um, you know, they all already come down right here. And we're gonna need those anyways. And then we have our mall right here, so we can easily get some of the um, things that we need over here uh, for building in space, like building out belts and things like that. Building out, um, oh, we don't have space manufacturers yet but building out space manufactories, things like that, because these can only be built in space. Uh, so there's gonna be a bunch of things that we're gonna have to be building in space. 
that um, you know we'll be able to get our uh, materials right over here and you know especially for things like uh, our cargo rocket pods or sorry our cargo pods for our cargo rocket uh, the fuel tanks etc to make the cargo rocket sections we'll have kind of those weird uh, materials like right over here that we can just send right on over um, so it might take some belt shenanigans but we'll be able to get them over here no problemo um, after finishing these processing units um, and these are building very slowly so we might double the amount of buildings that we have um, so let's yeah I, I mean do, do we need that yeah we're gonna need that for science too so you know what you know what we're gonna do this it might be a little unnecessary but we're gonna do it anyways so we'll just let the bots finish building and they can all reach there we go all right we're missing one inserter there we go okay so we just doubled the amount of production of processing units that we can do and apparently we are out of advanced circuits why are we out of advanced circuits? Probably because we're out of regular circuits, I would guess. Yep, that looks to be the reason. We're also going to have to build more of these. Um, so we'll extend that down this way. When the time comes. Um, but I think that that is a pretty good stopping point for uh, this episode, actually. Um, so we made our processing units. And we are getting ready to start work on actual rocket parts. So, um, in the next episode, I will uh, have made some of our buildings, because these are expensive, so I'll, it'll take some time to gather all the resources for these. So I won't make you watch that. But So we'll build these, and we'll talk about these, and then we will start building um, the cargo rocket pods, cargo rocket sections, etc. Um, and... Uh, we also, the, probably the one other thing that we're going to want to do before we go to space is fix our power, which um, I might just do off camera and again show you what that looks like um, in a time lapse. Um, but yeah, we, we've made really good progress over the last couple episodes and, you know, we now have uh, processing units, which I'll also fix uh, this issue offline with uh, the incoming... Uh, just basic circuits and yeah so we are doing awesome guys we are going to be getting to space very soon which i'm super excited about um and we'll have lots of things to talk about go over uh we'll have awesome circuits that we'll have to come up with uh to manage our rockets going back and forth which will be super fun so thank you guys for joining today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you all on the next episode